Investigators are still trying to figure out how a local eight-year-old boy got his hands on a gun and shot himself in the chest. Christopher Scurry was visiting his grandparents in Port Orange at the time of that accident. He was rushed to the hospital where he died. As Channel 4's Heather Lee tells us tonight, there are still many unanswered questions in this case. Well, investigators are still trying to figure out exactly how these people got a hold of this gun because this is a stolen gun and it's just one of 43 stolen guns out of South Daytona and the police department there has been trying to figure out where they all went. Heartbroken and confused. This one's not coming off. Davina Gooden says her two kids went to their grandparents' home in Port Orange, Florida for vacation. Somehow, her eight-year-old got his hands on a gun and accidentally shot himself. His 80-year-old grandfather was in the home in a different room. That's not uncommon for someone to have a stolen gun in their home without them even knowing about it. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says right now detectives are trying to figure out if the grandparents knew the gun was stolen and how it got there. Licensed gun dealers, of course, they are responsible for making sure that the purchaser is not a convicted felon, do a thorough background check. But if you're just selling weapon person to person, they don't have that responsibility. Smith says there's usually a three-day waiting period if you buy from a licensed dealer before you actually receive the gun. He says that's often why people buy guns on the street and because they may be cheaper. Smith says some people are pushing lawmakers to make street sellers more liable. State Attorney Angela Corey says tracking the sale of guns is very beneficial. For liability purposes and for being able to prove who owned the gun, who stole the gun, tracking back to crimes if it came out of a burglary or an armed robbery, a carjacking. Angela Corey says it is so important that you lock up your firearms. You may have some hunting rifles like this or maybe even a handgun like this one, but you need to make sure that they are inside a case out of reach for children. And you also want to make sure that when you close this, you're actually using a key to lock it. I think a lot of times you may walk away and not realize you didn't lock it. So this is now secure and you need to make sure that you're putting this in a place that only you know about. Heather Lee, Channel 4, The Local Station.